Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I want to share a baby crib pop-up card with you using Mama Elephant stamps and dies. At first I started out with stamping all of my images onto Bristol Smooth cardstock using Versafine Onyx Black Ink and the stamp set I used was Wish Upon a Star by Mama Elephant. On the top right you can see the letters that I have stamped out and it's from the Lots of Letters stamps. And I stamped it out with uh, Distress Oxide Ink in Tumbled Glass and Florian is the name of the little baby boy and we will add that to the card later. Now I'm painting in the little bunnies using Zig Clean Color Real Brush Marker in Oatmeal. I'm just adding a second layer here to add a little bit more shadow. Now I'm using a tiny bit of light pink to shade in the ears of the bunnies. For the wings and the little bushy tails of the bunnies I used Warm Grey 2. Pale yellow for the little star and blue haze for the clouds. I'm using a little bit of dark brown to shade in the little rod that the bunny is holding. And now I'm just adding a little bit of tonic shimmer pen to add a little sparkle to the clouds. Now I'm taking a piece of Bristol Smooth cardstock and a cloud stencil and I'm ink blending some tumbled glass distress ink onto it to create a background for the bunnies to be adhered to. For the inside of the card I really wanted it to look like it's a baby's room, so to create sort of a wallpaper look. And I'm using a striped stencil and tumbled glass distress ink to shade in the little stripes. And now, in a second, you'll see me realize that I ink blended the wrong way around. I am going to adhere a stripe of blue cardstock to the bottom of the room, of the wall. So, that, so I thought I didn't have to ink blend that part, only it was the wrong part. So I realigned the stencil as best as I could and started ink blending again. Luckily it worked out fine. It, it's not as smooth as I would like it to be, but you know, oh well, next time. Now I'm uh, trying to figure out where to place my sentiment. I'm just moving around the bunnies and the clouds to see where I would like it best. And the, the sentiment I'm using is Hurra du Besta, which is a German sentiment from Crafter's Companion, which is Hooray, you're here. Um, and I'm using Tumbled Glass Distress Oxide to stamp it. Now I'm adhering all of my images using foam tape. And that finishes up the front of the card. Now I've cut two of the little star banners from the Skybursters die cut set from Mama Elephant. 
One from white cardstock and the other one from Lawn Fawn's Pixie Dust white glitter cardstock. And I'm just adhering them on top of each other to give it a little bit more yeah, sturdiness. I also cut a strip of baby blue cardstock measuring 4.5 by 0.3 inches and I scored it at 1.5 and 2.7 inches. I'm sorry if the measurements are weird because I basically translated them from metric um, but I will have all the measurements also listed in the bottom bar below. Now I'm adhering the star banner to the inside of what will be the little pop-up mobile for my baby crib and I'm just placing an acrylic block on top to make sure it stays put. Now I'm gonna work on the actual crib. I die cut the frame tags artist mat gift tag twice out of white cardstock and I added a little heart from the framed tags Lafayette die set from Mama Elephant to what will be the foot of the bed. Now I'm just cutting them down to size. I also cut a strip of white cardstock that measured 3.5 by 2.35 inches and then I used a, the little rectangle die to cut a window into it and the gift tag from the framed tags artist mat no, the framed tags Lafayette, sorry uh, to cut the little flourish into the bottom. I scored both panels at one quarter of an inch and now I'm also adding the little flourish on the top and the foot of the bed with the gift tag die from the Lafayette framed tags. Now I've cut a strip of white cardstock. Again, the measurements will be on screen or down below. And I'm using the same gift tag die to cut a little flourish and now I'm cutting out the corners to make it look like a little shelf for our, for our uh, letters to sit on. Now it's time to assemble. I cut a whole bunch of strips of white cardstock that are a quarter of an inch wide and I'm just gonna take some tape runner to uh, the, the inside of, of the panel and I'm just adhering them as you can see me do right here. I just eyeballed it as you can see maybe measuring <laughs> would be advisable. Um, now what's important here is uh, since it's going to be a pop-up card, uh, the back of the, the baby bed will be up against the card. So you have to make sure that the uh, strips of the little baby crib are always adhered to the back side of the die cut. I hope that makes sense. So that when you look into the little baby bed you only see the pretty side. Now I'm using a little powder tool to make sure that none of the adhesive from the tape runner is shown. You could have of course used just liquid adhesive little dots wherever you wanted to put the little spindles but this was just easier for me. Now I'm just folding both sides on the score lines and reinforcing them with my bone folder for both pieces. Sorry my camera cut out there. <laughs> Now you can see this is how the crib eventually will fit together. I added some tape runner to all of the sides and I'm just basically just putting it all together.
I also trimmed off the the feet of the bed to make them all even but I had to do that off camera and that finishes up our little pop-up mechanism. I just move it around a bit to make sure that it all works and generously use the powder tool to make sure that nothing sticks so that when the recipient opens up the cart the baby bed will pop up as it should. Now I want to add a little critter to the foot of the bed, like a little stuffed animal, and I chose the elephant from the Stackable Cuties stamp set from Mama Elephant. Again, I should have probably checked before because the ear of the elephant pokes out a tiny little bit on the right side of the card. I don't mind it as much, but if there's something that will bother you, just maybe adhere it once the card is assembled. Now I'm adhering two strips of blue cardstock that I just cut to the height of the baby bed. As you can see in the center, I'm just leaving a little strip of the card, the card base bare to make sure that uh, the card will close well because the pop-up bed does add a little bit of bulk. I cut the scalloped frame from the uh, frame tags artist mat and I just cut off the little scalloping and added it as a little decoration to my wall treatment. Now I'm adding foam squares to the shelf and popping it up on the wall. And here I added the letters spelling Florian uh, to the wall that would yeah, that's the, <laughs> the name of the little baby boy. Now I'm adding tape runner to the sides of the crib that will be adhered to create my pop-up mechanism. And I'm placing them down. Sorry, my head pops in there. Um, and I'm just placing them down and then shutting the cards to make sure that it's all aligned and works well. I'm reinforcing everything, giving it a good push to make sure it sticks and that finishes up the baby bed. Now I'm doing exactly the same same thing for our pop-up mobile. I'm just placing the little part onto the card and then closing it shut onto the blue strip of cardstock onto, into the adhesive to make sure that it opens as we open the card. And this finishes up the inside. I really hope you like this one. This was my first ever video and I really hope you stop by and subscribe for more. Thank you very much. Have a great day.